listen everybody to the words I have to say Better get ready This is Daniel White IV, and from my father, Daniel White III, with the Second Coming Watch update. This is update number 507. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy-related headlines, which point toward the Second Coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First, today, under the sign category of the turmoil in Israel and the Middle East, according to the Jerusalem Post, Israel will likely have an important yet backseat role in the international coalition forming against the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. That role will probably be defined by Jerusalem's ability to provide rapid and precise intelligence support to the U.S.-led military forces charged with making airstrikes on Islamic State positions. However, Israeli defense officials will not publicly confirm any plans to provide aid to the emerging war effort. Second, under the sign category of the turmoil in Israel and the Middle East, according to the Jerusalem Post, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warned against the rising tide of extremism in the world on Sunday, asserting that the Islamic State, Hamas, Al-Qaeda, the Nusra Front, Boko Haram, and Hezbollah are all branches of the same poison tree. Speaking during a meeting with the visiting Israel Bond's leadership delegation, Netanyahu said all of the groups in question share the same ideology. He added that the threats spreading in the area were also posing a challenge to Israel's defense of its own borders. Third, under the sign category of an increase in knowledge and technology, according to the Hacker News, in a bid to move one step ahead of others, China is planning to launch a facial recognition payment application with near-perfect accuracy that enables users to authorize their online transactions just by showing a picture of themselves. Chinese researchers have developed a facial recognition system that can pick faces from a crowd with 99.8% accuracy from 91 angles. The face recognition payment system is not completely developed at the moment and will come into application by the Chinese Academy of Science in 2015. This system will let users interlink their bank accounts or credit cards with facial data and make payments without any need of providing passwords or PINs. Fourth, under the sign category of an increase in violence, according to Reuters, a French lawmaker said on Friday that around 100 militants who fought with the rebel groups in Syria and Iraq have returned to France requiring massive resources for surveillance and other security measures to prevent attacks. Thousands of Western volunteers have traveled to Syria and Iraq to join Islamist fighting groups, notably the Islamic State. The exodus has raised fears in Europe and the United States of attacks by returning fighters. Some of the fighters who have returned home are in jail, others are under judicial surveillance, and the government has evidence showing that a number of those who have returned from Syria could potentially have gone ahead to commit attacks. Fifth, under the sign category of the turmoil in Israel and the Middle East, according to AFP, the United States has delivered Hellfire missiles to the Lebanese army and has said that it will also provide it with light aircraft, including an armed Cessna. After meeting Prime Minister Tamam Salam, David Hale, the U.S. ambassador to Lebanon, said the aircraft will be bought with Saudi funds recently pledged to the Lebanese army. He added, over the last two weeks, a series of accelerated shipments of American arms and armaments have arrived here. The pledges and arms deliveries come as several allies of Lebanon step up efforts to bolster its armed forces as the threat from jihadists in the region grows. The Bible says in Matthew 24, 10-12, then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Our second coming quote for today is from Charles Spurgeon. He said, Oh, that the Lord would come. He is coming. He is on the road and traveling quickly. The sound of his approach should be as music to our hearts. You can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. If you are not ready for the return of Jesus Christ, may I encourage you to get ready today by receiving Him as your Savior. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, 
that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Just believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and rose from the dead by the power of God for you, so that you can live eternally with him. Pray and ask him to come into your heart today, and he will. Romans 10.13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Keep looking up, for your redemption draweth nigh. Let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Yeah.